bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Hello and thank you for joining me on Susie Pooh's channel. Today me and Susie are going camping. I think this is great bonding time between me and Susie. I've been working on the allotment a lot, I've been doing lots of digging, lots of border building and and I feel like I need a little bit of a break. So I've come to my local woodland area and we are going to make the most of what we've got here. I've noticed the ground is slightly on a on a decline. So I'm going to do a bit of alterations. It's getting dark. It's uh, getting close to half four. So I need to get moving very quickly. I need to build a fire um, and then make sure I'm not kind of messing around when it's dark. So I'll show you guys everything I've got, all the supplies that I've got, all the equipment. Thank you so much for watching this video and let's not mess around anymore. Okay, let's do it. So I'm dropping my supplies, making alterations to the ground. I'm trying to bulk it up at this end because we're going slightly on a decline here. It's a little more level now. So that should give me a, a lot better night's sleep. I've got nothing special, just a simple pop-out tent for a quick night's sleep in the woods. No messing around. It's very difficult to carry because they never seem to go back into the shape that you want them to. But if you're not going too far, I highly recommend. And if the weather's not raining, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty decent. Just a couple of pegs in. I have a, a, a roll out foam mattress for the bedding. Ideally, I want the camping bed, but when I went to get it, I realized it was at my partner's house which is a bit disappointing because I feel like I would have a much better night's sleep raised off the floor. But this will have to do. I have a nice fur blanket here for warmth. Ideally, you want a ground sheet but I don't have one. I haven't got the best gear for camping, but it's the heart and it's the commitment and it's the dedication to try these things out, even if you don't have everything. So this is a an encouragement to you guys that you don't need to have the best gear to go camping. And I have a very ultralight sleeping bag, which isn't made for winter camping, but I have a blanket. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens there. Now my bedding is set, let's get a fire going. Now I don't want the fire too close to the tent. So I'm going to do it here and then I can sit on this, on this fallen over tree here and enjoy my food away from the, the actual tent itself. The last thing I want is the tent to go up in flames. That would be an absolute disaster. Want it Susie? She agrees. Okay. Ideally when starting a fire, you want your, your big logs at the bottom because what will happen is when, when everything else burns, they will continue to keep burning and burning and burning. They're, they'll be the heart of your fire, if you want to say that. Then you have your medium sticks and then you have your small sticks and then you have some kindling. Now I'm a bit pushed for time, it's getting close to quarter to six and it's going to get dark in about 20 minutes or so. So I've got a lighter and I'm just finding some dry stuff on the ground and I'm going to see if I can get get it started as quickly as I can.
the key is to keep adding small sticks and when you've got a consistent fire going, when it starts to burn all the way through, then you can relax. Don't let this flame go. Keep adding small sticks as this will fuel the fire as it's not warm enough yet to, uh, to, keep, to burn all the way through to the other sticks. So keep it going. And as it warms up, uh, you know you've got a winner then. The last thing you want is to feed your, your fire bigger sticks and then to put out the flame because I'll tell you what, you're absolutely buggered then, especially if it's getting dark. The only time you can move away from a fire is that you know if you move away from a fire, you don't have to put anything on it within the next five minutes. Because why I'm messing about in there, trying to get my, my stuff ready for food, and if this goes out, it means I'm messing about and wasting time. So make sure your fire is ready, make sure your fire will last and that will set you up for the rest of the night. It's always handy to have loads of sticks nearby so you can keep fueling the fire into the night so you can keep yourself nice and toasty and warm. I'm very, very lucky because all around me I've got loads of sticks. I don't have any stones to board the fire off. I've created almost a dome so that the fire, when it goes down and down and down, it will go inside and rather than expand out. I feel like this would be at a very efficient time to show you what I've got in my bag and what food I've got as well. So in my bag, I've got Susie's food attached to the side, some kibbles. I've got my my hardy my hardy mug for a nice brew. I've got some bread, my my vegan chicken burgers. Vegan chicken burgers. I prepared some salad. I've got some lettuce. So I've got some lettuce and cucumber. And I actually hot cook some sweet potato fries and then fry them in the oven. So all I have to do is warm them up. So I've been very generous to myself. I've got some soy milk. All vegans we do have to eat. These are actually vegan. Bourbon, uh, bourbon chocolate biscuits from Lidl. So if you're vegan, get some of these, delicious. And of course some water for me and Susie. And then I've got a an all-in-one pan set here. So you've got your, your frying pan, your bowl, your kettle. I'll show you that now if you wish. I've definitely put this one to good use. So here's the top, is the This is the frying pan, and you get this, this tool with it that you, you grab on like this, and then you can put it over the fire. I've got a kettle, and then I've got three saucepans. I feel like if I set Susie up, then I'll be happy. So, I give her food later, but for now, I'm gonna make sure she's got some water. Yeah, she needed that. You always wanna get ahead of the game when camping. So I'll put the back. So when I know where everything is, I'm not like trying to rummage for everything in the night. But when it's dark, I'll put the kibbles in the pan that I intend to feed Susie in. So that can go in there. My bag can go away. 
and then I'll leave my food out. I did bring my binoculars, but by the time I got here, I was I was uh, rushing around for time. So maybe in the morning, I can see what what's uh, what's what's around and about. There's definitely rabbits around here, and uh, there's lots of birds. There's a few burrows in and around there. So one or two chocolate bourbons later, we've got this handy little uh, stick here, stuck in the ground, so that when the flame is too high and I want to put my kettle on, I can just wrap it around there. I've got my, my, my water boiling if, if I want to keep my flame going high. Which is handy, just a stick, no special tool. Seriously, if you're vegan, get some of these chocolate bourbons, they're delicious. So this is gonna be my my spot until I get until I get tired. And then I'll move into the tent. But for right now I'm very content here. I can hear the birds chirping. I can hear there's funny noises, I can hear the wind howling against the trees. I'm just sitting. This is the sign of contentment right here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be Outdoors, forever free. So, me and Susie are in the tent. And we're just watching the fire. I've eaten and I want to share some really disappointing news. So I went to have a cup of tea and I put the kettle on, put the water in and then I know and I brought absolutely everything apart from the tea bags. It's a very disappointing. Susie is very attentive. She's always keeping her guard out, ears pronged. Aren't you, Susie? I haven't come very well prepared, I must say. No pillow. Um, no tea bags. But hey ho, at least we've got each other, me and Susie. I've added some more sticks to the fire to keep it going. I've put my socks on. <laughs> I've put my socks on. They're a little damp. And I don't want to go to bed with with wet socks. So I've put them next to the fire. Susie is very attentive, aren't you, Susie? She's um she's a fearless dog. Aren't you? Good girl, Susie. There's nothing like having a having a dog to keep you company when you're in the wilderness by yourself because Yeah, when you when you're by yourself, you're exposed to um, vulnerability, I guess. So having a dog with you, it just makes you feel that bit more safer. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It's nice to be out here in nature with a nice cozy fire. My light died. But I'll be hitting the sack very time soon. Me and Susie are both in the in the tent. And I'm gonna wait for the fire to die down even more. Then I'm gonna put it out and I'm gonna go to bed. I thought I would say goodnight now. Because if there's no fire, you won't be able to see anything. So guys, I'll see you in the morning. Thank you for joining me on Susie Poo's channel. I wish you all the best. I didn't have the best night's sleep. 
but the battery's running really low, so I'm going to end it here. So what have I learned when camping again? I've learned that you need to shut the tent door as, it, as I let the water in last night. As I went to sleep and the, the door was slightly open and it rained and the water went all over the tent. So I kept waking up throughout the night, not realising what it was until this morning that I did leave the door slightly open. But nevertheless, it was a great adventure. Me and Susie got out of the doors and uh, we had a good time. Yes, thank you for watching Susie Poo's channel and I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.